In this video, we'll be talking about a simple equation, like terms and unlike terms. This is a follow-up to the first one that we watched, discussing coefficient and variables. So what are like terms and what are unlike terms? In algebra, when we are dealing with it, we come across variables and want to be able to use our power of observation to identify what are related or similar and what are not similar and not related variables. So in this video, we're going to be walking through 10 examples to be able to reinforce the concept and the understanding of uh, like terms and unlike terms. And after this video, we'll be able to apply this concept that we just acquired in the first and the second video, looking at uh, coefficient, variables, and also like terms and unlike terms. So let's start by looking at uh, these examples. We start with uh, example number one. Looking at it, we have x squared, x, 5x, 3x squared, x cubed, x squared y. In this case, I can point two things that are similar out. So look at x squared to start with. Do we have any x squared in the list? Yes. So we write x squared and then 3x squared. These are like terms. Then we have, if we look further again, we have x and we have 5x. So we have x and also 5x. So you can see these are similar terms. That's why we use the word like terms. The ones that are not similar are the unlike terms. We don't need them, so we won't worry much about them. Because like terms, we can add them together. We can subtract them from each other. So this way, we can move our equation to the next level. So let's look at uh, example number two. We have 2a, a squared, minus 4a squared, and 5b raised to the power of 4. We want to use our power of observation here. Which one, where do we see similarity or common variables? 2a does not have a match. But well, we have a squared and minus 4 a squared. These are the only like terms that we have here. Then we'll go to the third example. 2c minus c squared, c cubed minus 5c cubed. If we look at 2c, we don't have any other c in the list. If you look at c squared, we don't have any c squared. But if you see, we have c cubed and minus 5c cubed. Those are like terms. Now I think you are getting a handle of it. If you actually understand like terms and unlike terms, you can pause the video at this point and walk through the exercises from number 4 to number 6, and then you unpause to see our solution. So you can pause now. Now, let's go to number four to check what you have done so far. So, we go to number four. We have minus y cube. Do we have any y cube? Yes, sure we do. So, we have minus y cube and minus 2y cube. We don't have any like terms that are similar anymore. Now, for number five, we have rs minus rs squared s squared rs squared so looking at it we have similar terms in minus rs squared and 3 rs squared so you can see r r s squared s squared those are like terms that is similar terms number six we have a squared b a squared b b squared a a b squared so you can see the difference here we want to be very conscious of what we have in the way the equation is written 
So if you want to be particular, we will go with a A square B and 2 A square B. At advanced level, we can argue that B squared A and AB squared are similar. But for now, we want to go with the other, A square B and 2 A square B. We can easily add the similar like terms. We can easily subtract them. And then number 7, we have minus 3X, minus 3X squared, X cubed, and 4X cubed. So if you look through what is similar within these four lists, we have x cube and 4x cube. Those are the like terms that we can actually add together or subtract. Now number 8, 4x cube y, xy raised to the power of 4, xy raised to the power of 3, and 2x cubed y. So we can see the first and the last on the list. So minus 4x cubed y and 2x cubed y are similar. So those are the like terms. And now number 9, we have 3ab. What is similar to that? 5ab. So we can just write 3ab and 5ab. And in the last one, we have x squared, y squared, x cubed, y squared, x squared, y squared. So we can see two that are closely related in 8x squared, y squared, and 5x squared, y squared. So you can see how we picked out similar variables and separate them from the similar one thank you very much for watching if you are benefiting from these videos please like the video and subscribe to this channel we'll see you in the next video where we'll be talking about addition and subtraction of simple equation